Friday marks the one-month anniversary of the school shooting massacre in Uvalde, Texas. The Bipartisan Safer Communities Act passed the Senate with 64 votes on Wednesday. 14 Republicans voted in favor, including Minority Leader Mitch McConnell. Let's take a look at what is included in the bill from CBS News. Overnight, the Senate took its first steps towards passing major gun-related legislation in an attempt to address recent mass shootings in New York, Texas, and California. The bill is a bipartisan deal that would expand gun background checks for people under 21, allowing up to 10 business days to review juvenile and mental health records. It provides federal money for states enacting new red flag laws designed to temporarily seize guns from people deemed dangerous. And it closes the so-called boyfriend loophole, preventing partners convicted of domestic abuse who live outside a victim's home from buying a gun. We have a chance to break this 30-year period of silence. It is a compromise. It is a bipartisan compromise. There's also hundreds of millions of dollars more for mental health and safety resources in schools. Plus, tough new penalties for those that buy and then turn around and sell a weapon to anyone barred from owning guns. I want to make sure we actually do something useful, something that is capable of becoming a law. Here at the White House, aides say President Biden is supportive of this deal. We may hear him say more about it later today. Senate leaders anticipate the legislation will be passed by them by the end of this week. And then over in the House, Speaker Pelosi says she's hoping to hold a vote on it as soon as possible. Following the ongoing bipartisan negotiations in Congress on gun control, the Supreme Court today ruled in a case from a gun club that sued over their concealed carry license requirement. The court held that the state requiring a proper cause to conceal their weapon outside their home was unconstitutional. The details in Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas's argument claim the Second and Fourteenth Amendments protect an individual's right to carry a handgun for self-defense outside the home. He says that there can't be restrictions on the Second Amendment because historically there haven't been. The Second Amendment, however, doesn't mention anything about self-defense but cites only a well-regulated militia. Many states use the words well-regulated to regulate the ownership of guns. Other states have similar gun restrictions on the concealed carry permits requiring certain training. The court didn't strike those down, but certainly opened the door for future complaints. If Congress is able to pass the Bipartisan Safer Communities Act in the coming days, it'll be interesting to see how both state and Supreme Court rulings affect the new federal law. Thank you for tuning in to Raw Story TV. Please be sure to check out the headlines at rawstory.com. Stay informed and tap below to take action by liking, subscribing, and joining all those who like their news raw.